If you're, if you're new to service now, the where you want to be spending your most amount of effort initially is something called the control management database or the, or the CMDB or the configuration management database, sorry. Um, that's really an asset ledger of all of your IT equipment, all of your systems live within the CMDB. Um, from a GRC point of view, that's that's the level that we go down to when we um, you know do these controls and risks. So uh, your your CMDB health is the first thing that's that's a priority. If 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 you're going to try and implement the GRC suite the, the way it should be, um, and and with the level of you know detail that it requires to be effective, you've got to have a really healthy CMDB, and that. And I'll add one other thing I think about for those individuals or those companies that are, are new to ServiceNow, or at least new to the ServiceNow GRC, um, it can be an overwhelming user interface if not if not pulled together properly and not using the, the ServiceNow portal. Um, at, at Central, we oftentimes talk about streamlining your GRC, uh, and that's really focused around is looking at how we design our processes and how end users interact with those processes inside a tool. Um, and, and as we look at day-to-day -day operations or those individuals that are only going to go into ServiceNow once a month, once a quarter to do a control assessment, a risk assessment, log an incident, whatever it might be, how do you make that process simple for them to go in and do that and not overwhelming? Mm -hmm. and, and, if you're, and if that first time you go into ServiceNow, you get overwhelmed with options, different places to go, how do you land on it? Um, it, it can quickly drive away users from actually performing what they need to do and can impact your risk and compliance program from being effective. So when implementing and when bringing it in, having the foresight to say, we need to have a easy to use solution for our end users that maybe not don't need to go into that, that overly complex um, back end that, that your, your true risk manager is gonna use, but use this portal where people can easily go in, find what they need to do, and just a few clicks of a button com complete out their, their tasks, their activities. Think about what's the actions, the actionable insight that we have into those environments. Um, so if you look at your dashboard, uh, there is so much information that's available in ServiceNow. Um, makes it extremely powerful. But think about the user of that dashboard and what is the information he needs to perform his day-to-day -day job. So give him actionable insights into that dashboard. There, the available, the information is there in service now. But as part of this, think about what do I need to do? Don't just throw every piece of data in there so that you have pretty dashboards, but nobody can do anything with it. And that is the trap you can fall into with these very pervasive uh, GRC tools that you have all that information. Let's just give all that information, but really spend the time because that will drive user adoption and simplicity that Andrew referred to. I would say start with governance. And we refer to a couple of things on governance. Um, I think the first one is know who are the stakeholders. And if we apply the three lines of defense concept, um, who are my second line? but also who are the first line of defense people that works with the second line, understand both those roles, understand who they are, understand what's their objectives, where they need to go and what they need to do to start with that. Then once we understand those, understand the processes that they're working with, uh, understand how they are working together, Understand those processes then in the context of service now and who are the stakeholders, non-GRC stakeholders that will have an impact on the process. We already refer to the organizational structure. We refer to entity types. We refer to the CMDB. Understand those implications into my GRC or governance risk and compliance processes. There's a lot of effort you need to put in to, to get it to that level where, you know, um, use the expertise you have, use the, the industry knowledge, take all of that and sort of build it together so that you can get to that streamlined solution for your end users. Um, uh, and it, it's a lot of work and effort is the, is, is the sort of takeaway I, I would just drop on that.